Hi guys, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar, and today we are going to discuss in this session uh, multi row subqueries. Okay, how to work with multi row subqueries? Okay, in SQL Server. Okay, so in previous video session, we discussed subqueries. We discussed subqueries in uh, how to use the types of subqueries. Okay, and later single row subquery we discussed, and I was given some explanation on single row subquery and why we call it is a single row subquery and how it was executed and how it will be getting the step by step process I was given, the first step, second step and third step, how we can write your single row subquery statements, yes or no? So, in the same to same, uh, when I come to multi row subqueries, okay, and uh, especially multi row subqueries where at what situations I can use. So, that is very important to know that, okay. For example, you can see now. Suppose, uh, I am giving one example to you and this example, how we can go to overcome and how we can go to get this example solution here, okay. So, now, so what is my example, you can see now. My example is, my example is, write a query to, write a query to display employee details to display employee details to display employee details from the table whose department whose department is the department is same as okay department is same as the department of okay so some names i am giving here the department of the employee smith the employee smith R Scott. So, this is one example in my subquery. So, what I am going to ask in this example, I want to display employee details from the table whose department is the same as the department of the employee Smith or Scott. Okay. So, I think you question understand here now. So, now as per this question, so now I want to write some subquery. So, now before that I am going to check my table in my SQL server. So, I just go to open it this, okay. I just connect it to my SQL server to take one new query option and now I just come back here to open my databases and I want to check here, okay, my class database was there and in this one of the table, I have it here one of the table, uh, just one second and come back here. So, I have here the tables are there. So, here one of the table was what now? EMP. Okay. So, now in this EMP, I just call it first of all. Okay. First of all, I am going to call him now. So, select star from EMP, this one table was there now. So, this table I am going to execute it now and see, okay, I have some data. Okay. So, now I am going to adding one column here. So, to my employee table, that column I am going to adding and you know that how to add. Alter table EMP add one new column that is called a department name column. I am going to adding is a var care of some size and to come out and execute it now. So, later I just come back here and to see that okay your department name column is added to your table and now I just come back here to refresh now. So, I just come to uh, refresh it means that I am going to editing here to insert my department values also. Okay. So, I have already some information in this, okay, I just want to check here, yes, I done here master, okay. So, you just come back here, we have already some information is there, but I want to add this, okay, whatever it was, I want to add this, this master, okay, I am executed now. So, I just go for the master because this table was having in the master database, I just go to master, okay, master and table because I am going to master here. So, in this EMP table was there, I just uh, expand and that means I want to open this. Okay, I open this and now I am going to inserting. So, one name was there, Sai25 and the department name. Uh, for example, I want to send here SAP. In the same to same 102, 102, okay, so that some name I want to take here, LN, okay. His salary was 15,000, his salary was 15,000 and it belongs to finance. In the same to same 103, I am going to using some name here, Scott. The Scott salary was 30,000 rupees. It was uh, making your HR. In the same to same 104, some name was there like Warner. 
the warner was having here 17,000 rupees and his belongs to finance and 105 and I am going to take in here some smith, the smith his salary was 63,000 and suppose it was belongs to SAP, okay. Now in the same pattern, I am going to inserting some more records here, okay, into my table. Now 106, I am inserting for example, Jones, the Jones the salary was 41,000, so he is and he was belongs to HR and in the same to same 107, I will take here, for example, I want to take your fraud, so fraud is the 47,000, okay, and uh, he belongs to SAP. 108, uh, so I am sending here one more name, that for example, I want to send here Miller, so Miller salary was 58,000, okay, so he was belongs to finance. So like this, uh, some information I insert into my table, okay, so that means I have in this table the total 8 employees are there. I have in this table total 8 employees are there and 8 employees, okay, can you see that 8 employees, uh, somebody is working in SAP department, so there is SAP department who are there, uh, one is Sai and uh, Smith also there and fraud. In the same to same, uh, some finance people was there, so finance 1, 2 and 3 people is there. So in finance one person is Ellen, one person is, uh, uh, what is that name? Warner and one person name is Miller. Next one more was there HR, HR, HR was having some Scott was their HR department and Jones is their HR department. So that means the Smith is having in SAP department is working and Scott is also having HR department. So that means what is happening here, we have some departments here, three departments are there. So finance, SAP, HR, in these three departments the number of people, eight, eight employees are working now, okay. So now what I want to do out of this eight employees, whose employee department name is the same as the employee Smith or Scott employee, the employee Smith or Scott. So that means what I want to do, if I want to write my sub query, if I want to write my sub query, write sub query, okay, first of all, I want to write my inner query now. So inner query, what I want to write now, I want to know that first I have to find out the department name of Scott and Smith. So for that purpose, I am going to write here, select, what I want to find out here, D name, department name from, the table is EMP, where, where, E name, one of the employee was given in the query, Smith, or E name, one of the employee was giving here, what now, Scott, okay. So now, once I will go to execute this one, what is happening, you can see, oh, so Smith, and Scott, the two people jobs are, it's nothing but department names sir. we find out. So Smith is working in HR, Scott is working in SAP, okay. So the two people department name we find out here. After that what I want to do, in this HR and SAP, the remaining employees, not only Smith and not only Scott, is there any other employees also there or not? If it is there, those people information I want to display. So for the displaying of other information, displaying of employee information purpose, what I am going to do now, I am going to using here select star from EMP where, EMP where department name is equals to inner query I am writing now, inner query I am writing now. So this is my inner query. But when I am going to writing my inner query, what is the problem here to execute this one, okay, to execute my inner query along with my outer query, if I execute it now, then see the SQL server returns one compilation error. What is the compilation error here? Subquery return more than one value. Subquery returns more than one value. So whenever the subquery returns more than one value, at this moment, this is not permitted when the subquery follows these operators equal, not equal, less than, less than or equals to, greater than, greater than or equals to, okay. So that means what the mean of your compilation error, whenever the subquery returns more than one value, subquery returns more than one value, there I can't use these operators which I used in my single row subquery, okay. These operators are not supported. These operators are supported only single row subquery supported, but uh, multi row subqueries, that means uh, when your subquery returns more than one value, at that moment, these operators we can't uh, use it. My point understand now? Yes. So that means what I want to do to overcome this problem, okay. So whatever the problem we got it, 
what are the problem is quoted here the sub query returns more than one value okay so this problem i want to avoid this so to avoid this problem then we want to use uh, then we want to use okay we want to use what now uh, now we can use here multi multiple row multiple row sub query i want to use so now we can check what is the definition of multiple row sub query so same definition so definition is what now a sub query returns a sub query returns a sub query returns more than one value returns more than more than one value more than one value is called as more than one value is called as multiple 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 sub query multiple row sub query this is actually the definition of your multiple row sub query okay so when a sub query returns more than one value there i can use multiple row sub query and in this multiple row sub query i am using one operator okay we can use operator the which operator i am going to using means which operator so i we can use uh, operator is which operator means in operator i am using which operator here in operator so i want to use what now in operator now okay now so but i can't use less than greater than okay equals to not less than this kind of operators i can't use whenever the sub query returns more than one value so i'm using only in operator i want to use now so now i'm using in operators how to overcome this problem then what i want to do now what i want to do now see now i'm going to taking this okay in place of equal in place of equal what i want to do now i'm using in the simple thing when i'm using in operator so now you can see to execute it now yes so the sap and hr we have a scott and smith but along with scott and smith we have a sai jones and fraud also there so that means these people are and these people jobs are same jobs these people jobs are what now same jobs what we are going to taking now okay so now this is the way how to overcome that problem when sub query returns more than one value okay in the same pattern can you tell me the same query even though i can go right in another way also what is that the way means what is that way means select star from emp where d name department name in operator select d name from emp and i'm using your where e name where e name here also i'm using what in operator so in place of r operator i'm using in operator in operator means what list of values it will be check or compare so first one is what now smith and second one is what now scott so can i give it or not yes definitely i can give it okay so in place of r operator i'm using in operator okay in operator already we know that it is used for working on list of values okay so now i'm going to execute this one and see the same kind of output was coming out the same kind of output was displayed here so that's why so when the finally the conclusion of this program and multi row means multi row when i want to use means whenever your sub query returns more than one value so there we can use in operator to overcome this problem instead of less than equal less than or equals to greater than or equals to not less than and not uh, greater than understand na so this is multi row sub query mechanism how to use and how to work how it will be returns output okay so thank you thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.